this week's tarot. Hey guys, how are you doing? Hope you're doing well. I'm doing a reading for this week, a generalized reading. So just apply it to your situation um, as I've been doing uh, the last couple weeks. Um, so I felt like doing a reading uh, for today. If you're into tarot, uh, great. Uh, it's perfect. Um, tune in for the, the upcoming reading. So generally, what is it that we are uh, working on this week? Uh, you might start seeing if you haven't checked out last week's check that out but your agreement has come right you should have uh, in the past week come into your agreements right and so whatever that is and um, looking at how you are either working together or manifesting um, how you can make the um, the physical realm um, it can also mean pentacles you know as far as money abundance how you can turn this uh, situation around or how you are going to be working together and how to, um, you know, um, work on that level as far as, uh, you know, the physical realm, whether it's abundance or what are you creating? Um, is it going to be financial stability? Are you trying to create a new business? Um, are you wanting whatever the situation may be um, that's incorporating the physical aspect? Um, you may have some struggles along the way, right? We're fighting or arguing over certain things, but um, you can work it out. You know, um, there's going to be a an, an divine idea coming in that's going to help you to navigate uh, the arguments <laughs> or the struggles um, of what's going on, right? And so this is, uh, one's always divine guidance. And so with the swords, of course, it is a mental realm. So there's uh, guidance there, higher guidance, knowledge, wisdom coming in. It's going to help guide both of you. And so you'll be able to have it from a different view, right? From a higher point of view, because this guy is standing on a mountain looking over. He's not in uh, the valleys, right? He's above. He's looking from that perspective what to do, because wands is action, right? And so um, now it's something that you can take hold of very quickly and it also can represent maybe troubled times and maybe navigating the rough waters for a little bit so you get to you know where it is that you're wanting to get to but just keep going forward and then the king of wands um, you know you have the higher knowledge base the wisdom of source divine knowledge you know the king the wisdom um, for you which is also again you know with the swords uh, the uh, mental realm the consciousness the knowing. Um, but we also have, you know, if we keep our heads and move forward, you know, you can take this as working hard or um, blocking yourself because uh, he can't see, right? Because he's doing too much. Maybe you need to delegate some of what you're doing over to Source and the universe and let them take care of it so you can start leading your life and make changes and see through um, all these things that you're doing right because if we don't leave any time for us to maybe meditate or look at the situation we just keep going 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 and just running on paradigms and not reflecting on what is it that i'm creating i'm just part of the wheel right that just keeps going right and then we can take time to manifest you have all the tools that you need um, at this time to create and look at things on what direction that you're going and just what is it that you want right and uh, at the beginning of the year, I did a reading on, you know, finding things that are more authentic, genuine, you know, getting rid of the things that really don't bring you true joy and happiness and abundance and happiness and is just shallow, right? Looking deeper, going deeper, being authentic. Who and who are you truly, right? And aligning with that, you know, and sometimes we need to cross the river, uh, but we have to let go of this stuff because there's the bridge over there and then we have the river sometimes you have to cross the river but we can't until we get rid of our stuff so sometimes we have to offload some of our uh, baggage or our karma and only take with us what is needed right so basically what is you know letting go some of your stuff what don't you really need we gather so much stuff and because we believe and we think that we need this this and this you know if you're you know, um, 
a collector, you know, in your living. Do you really need all that stuff? You got like 30 pairs of shoes in the closet. Do you wear them all? Probably just wear one or two, but you like them, so you buy them and they just sit there, right? So declutter, you know, what isn't really serving you anymore? Look at your stuff, look at your baggage, look at your past relationships. What are you holding on to? What haven't you forgiven? What haven't you healed, right? Let it go and then cross the bridge, right? Into the new pastures. Um, and then you'll be able to see it when you do self work you can see from different perspective instead of here, you live to see from this perspective, right? And so you are now outside of your um, things that you've happened to have happen in your lifetime, right? Which are, can be indicators of these little circles, right? So maybe um, suffering from abuse, a job you don't want, could be, you know, whatever. How do you want to look at it? You want to look at it from here? Do you want to look at it from here? outside source, like from source perspective or from a higher consciousness. And then how do you make that suffering into bliss, right? Your uh, lemons into lemonade, <laughs> basically. Um, and then with the hangman, you know, um, don't hold on to anything. Um, everything isn't forever. Just let it pass. You know, sometimes you just have to wait for it to pass, unfortunately. But if we're hanging on to it, um, you know, it, it's going to linger a lot more. So it's, you know, best to just let it go and allow yourself to just be present in the moment. Um, the guy's hanging upside down, <laughs> you can see. So he's not really looking at his stuff. He's just kind of going along with the, the um, old stuff, the patterns and everything. Um, and though he has the awareness, uh, you know, the lights here uh, to be able to look at it, he, this person actually doesn't, right? So you want to kind of take a look at it. Um, and then find out what is fulfilling for you. Uh, the ace, again, divine um, card. Uh, it is an ace, and this one's of the heart, right? Follow your higher guidance in the heart, uh, not of, you know, maybe your lower chakras or survival or whatever it is the situation that you're uh, looking at, like the surface level, um, going more deeper, looking at, you know, the heart, the divine heart. What is it that you truly want and manifesting, it, right? So you have all this flowing over, it's all there. You just have to tap into it, right? Um, and then once you do, there's the death. <laughs> um, it's not really a death card because for one, there is no death, but it's the letting go of all that stuff, you know, that you've been carrying in your back. It's so heavy, you know, look at all those um, beliefs and all that struggle and all that suffering, right? And in your back, and don't you ever feel that on your back, how heavy you weigh? You ever see people who walk around like this, like especially the older generation? That's all the stuff that they've been carrying. Your body just starts to break down, and it's like, oh, you know, and it's like, and if you actually talk to them, you hear their story of it, right? <laughs> so because they're living in that consciousness. But our bodies, everything will reflect um, what it is that we've been through in life. And have you ever heard about, like, body reading, the wrinkles, um, people can tell what you've been through and what you've experienced based on, you know, how your body is forming because it becomes physically manifested, right? So a person who may not smile all the time might have like this kind of a face. So somebody who smiles all the time might have that kind of face, you know, and I know that that was said to me when I was a child, but it can also actually be true. There are people who actually read, um, lines or you know your hands and everything that's going on how your nails and things like that so holistic healers you know they know how to read stuff like that so definitely you know check out that if you haven't already it's really interesting um and so you know when we can do all this you know let go of all this stuff you know and kind of shed everything that no longer serves us we can start moving into our bliss happiness, joy, celebrations, you know, and start creating, you know, a new lifetime from that point of view. So hopefully that helps. Uh, that's going to be for this coming week. And it's basically just about to summarize, you know, just working on yourself, being present, meditate, uh, because from the point of view, you should have already received your divine agreement. Um, and whatever that is for you, whether it is a person, a relationship, a job, could be your own higher self, your own um, agreement with yourself or your soul source. Uh, it really depends on what that is. This is a divine card, right? Divine agreements. Could be just somebody coming in to help guide you into the next stage, right? Somebody who's a short time person in your life could be 
somebody who's going to be longer time or a long time really depends on your individual you know situation so uh, definitely want to take a look at that and kind of work with it because now it is present for you and it's just allowing accepting to move and flow with that uh, direction all right hopefully that helps uh, any questions or like a reading definitely reach out book a session my website everything will be in the descriptions happy journeys